Hello, I am Lou Contra, a World War II veteran and Pearl Harbor survivor. Thank you for inviting me to participate from California. Every year, we rightfully honor the heroes who lost their lives on December the 7th, 1941. Over the course of two hours, more than 2,400 servicemen and civilians were killed. Almost half of them went down with the USS Arizona remained there on this day. I was aboard the USS Arizona that morning. Afterwards, I was sent to places and did things until the end of the war or 1967 when I retired and discharged. But for thousands of people, the first day of the war was also the last day they saw of it. The loss of those lives showed us what was at stake. At the same time, their courage ignited a spark that rallied Americans all across the country and redefined the meaning of service. Today, I had the distinct honor of introducing and remembering World War II veterans, both past and present. Each of us bears a unique story. Some of us were grafted, many of us volunteered. Some people had to fight for the right to serve and even prove their loyalty. Many were asked to make the same sacrifices despite unequal treatment, leaving them to fight for victory both abroad and at home. Each of us joined for different reasons, honor, validation, a sense of duty, and venture, financial stability. But we all share something in common. December the 7th, 1941 changed our lives not just for those of us on the USS Arizona or Pearl Harbor, but throughout the United States. It affected those of us who served as well as our families, our friends, our neighbors. Millions of Americans were mobilized overnight, traveling thousands of miles to answer the call. Many look on roles they had never dreamed of. Some who had never set foot beyond city limits were now crossing oceans. The war introduced a new realm of possibilities, opportunities that hadn't been available before, but also terrible dangers that in the call of duty, often making the ultimate sacrifice for our fellow Americans. Those efforts not only earned the title of greatest generation, but also set a new standard of service for those who haven't followed. It is a great honor to recognize the men and women who were a part of that history, especially to those who didn't get to see the legacy they would have left behind. Thank you.